Today, on Every Burger in Vegas, we're going to Bardo Brasserie. Bardo Brasserie is Michael Mina's signature restaurant inside the Aria. We tried his barbecue at the MGM. I got a feeling this is going to be better, but we'll see. This is a Michael Mina redemption battle here on Every Burger in Vegas. I'm hyped. Let's go inside. Let's eat a burger. Every Burger in Vegas. All right. Made a reservation for Alex Berman. Happy hours where it's at. Oh, yeah? You can still do all the cards and just like the festival. That's great. I'm hyped for it. I love it in here, it's chill. Got a nice businessy vibe, you know, business or high-end dinner vibe. Michael Mina is the head chef over here. I wanna say we ate at his other restaurant, the one in MGM, and it was a barbecue restaurant, and now that I'm remembering, I'm like, this is where I came up with the idea that most barbecue burgers aren't that good. I wanna love Michael Mina. I see him on the Food Network all the time. It's redemption time. This is a redemption challenge. Michael Mina redemption challenge. I hope this burger's fire, I really do. I'm hyped for it. Can we just get the steak burger? Medium rare? Medium rare? Yeah. Here's your mission for the week. You know we love YouTubers. We love Vegas YouTubers. And one of the coolest Vegas YouTubers out there is Ryan DePaulo. He's always out there killing it with the World Series of Poker, playing all these great games. And I feel like because we're in the Aria, which has one of the best poker rooms in Las Vegas, and Ryan can argue with me on that, I think it'd be cool to sit down and have a collab with him. So it's up to you to make that happen. If you want to go over to Ryan DePaulo's latest video, The Degenerate Gambler, and leave a comment on that latest video which says, when are you going to have a burger with every burger in Vegas? Go ahead and leave that comment. And if enough people do that, maybe Ryan will see it. And we can sit down, and it'll be me, Ryan DePaulo, and Terrence enjoying a lovely burger, on me, of course, at the fanciest restaurant in town. So go on over to his channel, make that happen, and when you come back, we'll be eating a burger at Bardo. That's the Michael Mina special right there. You got a big pepper on top, big pickle on top. That's looking good, that's feeling good. Steakhouse burger from Bardo in the Aria, Las Vegas, every burger in Vegas. Let's get into it. Wow. Caramelized onions plus the cheese gives it the taste of a French onion soup. Then the bread is so fresh. The burger is so soft. I'm gonna take another bite of this. It's a perfect medium rare, but in order to give the full rating, in order to give the full review, you know what we have to do. Let's tear this baby apart. Okay, let's start with the bun. Bun is soft, fresh baked recently in the last few hours. And you can actually taste that, it's well grilled, it's buttered. So it's nice and soft, it's nice and crispy, it's nice and gooey and delicious. Then there's a little bit of arugula or watercress or some kind of greens. They're ripe, they're in season, they add a nice bitterness to it. Then you have that cheese, which is a Gruyere. Mm. High quality Gruyere cheese. You can't beat the Gruyere on the burger. I love Gruyere on burgers. Then the caramelized onions. Mm. These aren't your normal caramelized onions. They taste like they've been cooked down, reduced in a sauce with maybe some red wine to really get that flavor out and make it really feel beefy and meaty. Maybe it's red wine and beef stock even cooking down in these caramelized onions. There's a lot of flavor just in those onions. The patty, you can see there it's nice and red. That is a perfect medium rare cook. We'll give it a try. Mm. Good sear. The meat is tightly packed. But because of the way the burger is structured, with the other soft parts and the other crispy parts, your teeth go right through it. It's only in biting into it now that I see that it's not a loose pack. And that means that this was done on purpose. This was done for a reason, to get this exact mouthfeel, to get this exact experience. And now for the bottom bun. Same, same exact thing as the top bun, fresh baked. There's not much, if anything, you can fault Michael Mina and Bardo here for, for this burger. It tastes great. It's not just your normal burger, but it also has that onion flavor. It technically is using all the same ingredients 
as a normal burger, but everything's done to a very high degree. There's no butter lettuce here, you know, like there's braised onions instead of just normal sweet cooked onions or heaven forbid, raw onions on here. Bardo, this burger, this is gonna be a 10 out of 10. Rare for every burger in Vegas if you watch these videos. I think we only have three or four 10 out of 10s. But I would say this, this Michael Mina battle has been redeemed. Michael Mina wins in the end. And that brings us to final thoughts. If you're trying to get a Michael Mina burger, I would go here over the other Michael Mina barbecue spot any day. If you're trying to get a 10 out of 10 burger, I would go here as well. You know, there's a couple 10s in this complex. You got the Michael Mina here at the Aria. You have the burger over at the Holsteins that also had a 10 out of 10. This is a great little complex for burger lovers. In all, great vibe, great date spot. Michael Mina, consider yourself redeemed. This is gonna have that strong recommend. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe because we're eating every burger in Vegas. Like this video, make sure to go over and comment like we talked about earlier in the video so you can help us grow. Grab the merch, sign up for the Patreon, and if I see you in Vegas and you're a Patreon sub, I have to buy you a burger regardless of the cost. If you were here, you should be eating this burger with me right now, but only if you were a Patreon. All the links for all that stuff's down below. I'm Every Burger in Vegas, Alex Berman. Thanks for watching. Have a burger. Terrence is saying better than Echo and Rig. I think it's a different type of burger. Echo and Rig was another 10. That was more about high quality meat done really well. This is more of a flavor experience. So yeah, I mean, I guess if you're putting them next to each other, they're both 10s and we shouldn't really compare. I think it depends on the mood. If you're in the mood for a really clean burger, you're gonna go to Echo and Rig. If you want a flavor bomb, you'd go to Bardo. So for that burger, we're looking at 24 bucks, which is a very similar price to something like a Holstein's, but the experience you're gonna get here is levels above. So what was that? I left an $8 tip on this 2601. After taxes, after the $8 tip would be $34.01. Not bad. Michael Mina, the highest rated celebrity chef we've had so far. Good job. Is Michael Mina the king of Vegas burgers? Leave your comments down below. Send this video to Michael Mina. And let's see what he thinks. Mina Bell. Next week on Every Burger in Vegas. We gotta bring the energy from a one to a 10.